with the frost advisory and with all the things that were supposed to happen it was probably one of the warmer nights I'm sure the arrival of the sun had something to do with it I've already taken down the tarp earlier today but we woke up to this first sun of sun sign of sun in about four days which is great we have us down there taking pictures down by the lake and it's a beautiful beautiful lake walking through here was so magical yesterday it's just all these really big trees such a cool spot very beautiful lake it's called the bunny rabbit lake and uh, I'm very happy with our spot very good sleep last night Look at this. And the temperature difference is just something else. Over there on the rock, we're a little bit more exposed. I'm kind of glad we didn't camp back here now for that very reason. And then, you know, there's the privy. The good old thunder box. And this is my view from it. This one is private. I must say the uh, the campsite um, number thirty eight, the last one we stayed at, the privacy for the for the thunder box is non-existent. The trail is the distance. No, not even the distance from the uh, from the thunder box to the trail is roughly the distance from me to the thunder box right now. Not only is it that close, you're facing, full on facing the trail. So you could be sitting there reading a newspaper in the morning and watch people walk by, which doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So what if you're constipated? And what if you're just sitting there and you cannot move and here comes a whole family? I thought that was a little silly. Number 38. If anybody's ever there, look it up. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not only that, it's almost filled up to the brim. <laughs> um, yeah, too much detail. But beautiful, beautiful day today. We did not even feel like sleeping. Just wanted to wake up and get up on out of here. Morning of day eight. Beautiful weather. Not too hot, it's only about 16, I think, 15, 16, but absolutely beautiful. Oh, can't wait for a warm shower. Wow, I so miss my warm shower. Soon come. This is how we manage our daily bags with anything that's smelly in them. You got to keep everything off the ground. There are chipmunks, squirrels, and mice everywhere. So having a line like this helps you out. And then for last night, I just tied off one up in that tree and up in that tree, and we lifted our food bag right up this thing. It's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool setup. I'm going to start doing that from now on. Just keep everything off the ground. Too many mice. They get into your food, your food gets spoiled because they poo in it. Oh. And just the like the color of this lake here. No fish again because the water's too hard, I believe, but just the color of this lake. It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful spot. This is what people miss when they run through this place. They don't stop at places like this. They don't see what's here. They just see the trail. We've seen so many different places now. It is beautiful here. Yeah. Like every camp spot is different and every camp spot's got something so unique to it and it's just so beautiful. I love it.
gone. Here's our gear bomb again. We are packing up and almost ready to go. Right, honey? Almost ready? I'm going over a lot of these rocks today. Uh, it seems the frequency has increased a lot. It's just we're rolling over boulders, 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 boulders the whole time. I've gone about a kilometer. That's it? That's it. Okay. It's a very slow walk, that's why. But we haven't started long ago, so it's actually not bad. One sixth of the way down. That's the way to look at it. Come on, Ramon. Okay, Consuela. Consuela and Ramon. So we just came from down there. We're climbing up this. Um, and it goes further. We're essentially going right to the top of the mountain here, right from the bottom. Taking this crazy cliff. <laughs> so, yeah, very technical section so far for the day. But the technical stuff should be right at the beginning of the day, honey. And then later on it flattens out again. A bit. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. I'll let you go ahead this time. Opa. Climbing up this thing here. There's like a bunch of fallen trees. A stream rolling by, it's so slippery. We're going up this. Running water everywhere. I know, honey. Yep. We gotta take the poles off on this one. That's a big leap. One giant leap. Ugh. Yeah, this is what our daily path looks like. Very, very slippery on this section. It's just a stream. You're climbing a stream. Finally see this thing leveling off. This park is full of these passages and they just go straight up and then straight down. <laughs> Whew. I must say, knees were hurting a little bit this morning. But once we got going and I got these knee pads on, things improved a little. I can walk again. Not a young goat no more. Not a young mountain goat no more. <sighs> yeah, that's right, I am. I'm doing it. The swamp over here. This is gorgeous. It's all water. I mean, it's that's a little swamp, right? It's bog or whatever. But it's just the colors here. Amazing. Seems like this little area got changed before everything else. Before the fall. Looks fiery in the sun. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right here, close up. Bushwoman. We've just come from there. And we are currently here. So. We've been following the mountain range. I'm going back this way. 
actually no not this mountain range never mind there's yet another mountain range behind this mountain range that we crossed this is not the one we were crossing not even we're just surrounding it going around it and now it seems like the path is that way so straight up cookie, cookie come, come, on. come on, let's go let's go my skin let's get out of here Follow mommy, come on. Go, cookie, come. What a beautiful day. We're gonna find some shade up here, honey, and take a breather, eat something, yeah? Let's eat some of that jerky today. As unbelievable as it may be, we have realized we are running low on food. And uh, you just wanna have a couple of rations for the unforeseen. So those are there, but if that's all you got left, you better be able to get out of here before you starve, right? I got a fishing rod, but a lot of these lakes don't have any fish. Go ahead, Cookie. Follow Mommy. She waits for Daddy. Such a good girl. Yeah, if you're wondering what the Silhouette Trail looks like, this is it. Beautiful scenery, but it's an ass kicker. Whoo! Another pile of rocks. Stairmaster galore for sure. Top of another ridge. And this uh, section of the trail goes through all the highest ridges, <laughs> I've noticed. Four bars. Four bars? Uh -huh. We have cell phone reception because the highway is just down there. Can you check the weather then? Yeah, check the weather. Another ridge. Yeah. So a lot of the islands you won't even be able to see because they're so small, but there are so many there. The biggest ones you see, they're like the green island and then whatever else is there. But we've done Philip Edward Island. Cookie, come. Hodge to. Cookie, come here. Let's go. You don't go there by yourself. Oh, That's what we're climbing tomorrow. And the crack is on the other the side bird. of that. Nice. It's a hawk up in there. Don't know if you can see him. But he's probably spotted Cookie. These things have such good eyesight. With like zoom vision or something, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. You can focus in on like the tiniest object like a mouse from way up. See that thing there? We're going to the bottom and then first thing in the morning we're climbing all the way up. And then like a kilometer and a half, maybe two kilometers across the top, we get to the crack on the other side. And then we're just 10 clicks away or nine clicks away from home. From the car, sorry. <laughs> the comforts of civilization. But I sure am going to miss this place already. Okay, so this is the ridge the lady told us about. You can see one lake and you can just see our lake. And she goes, it's straight down from there to your lake. So that's the lake we're going to. 
and there's a different lake right here. She said you could see the two lakes and just barely see the other one. This is what she mentioned. So a lady we met along the way with her husband. Uh, she had uh, informed us of this spot and we should be just uh, straight down at this point. Yeah, but it's still a kilometer though. <laughs> yeah, straight down. Be safe, honey. She also mentioned that they haven't gone there. Yeah. This is some serious, serious trail here. Uh, Eva, Cookie might need some help on this one. She'll be fine, actually. Yeah. Since you're already down there, I think you should be the one. This is a good one. And this park is, you know, he's got a few of these. This is not even the sketchy one. The sketchy one was a uh, three narrow section. Following that river, there was this crack that we had to climb down. Man, it was right after the rain. It was all wet. And that thing was something else. Ooh. But that's what the trail looks like. So if you're thinking of doing this, make sure you watch this part very carefully. Because all of this here is loose rock where I'm stepping. And uh, if we were too far apart from each other, this would be even dangerous for Eva. So we have to stay as close to each other as possible. That way if a rock comes loose, it's not at its maximum velocity when it reaches her down the hill. This is, uh, I think that's important to mention. Because all these things can just roll on you when you step on them. Yeah, it's all loose. It's all loose. Yeah, so which way? Um, oh, this way. You just missed the marker, honey. I'll lead, okay? Another ridge the other way. I just have to take a look. I have to, I have to empty out my bag. Get a new battery. We got to the most beautiful ridge. I'm just going to try and imitate what I've done this morning, put all this back together and show you where we are. This has got to be one of my favorite places. It looks so cool here. But first, my gear. Voila, this thing is topped up right to the brim. Oh, and I packed it wrong. It's sideways. Oops. That's why it wasn't fitting. Heavy stuff right at your back. Not so heavy. Away. And if possible, soft around the head. Voila. She's ready to go again. Just wait till I get to that view. I don't know if the last video of the climb down is there. I have a feeling it might have been deleted because of the fact I ran out of battery. That happened a couple of times on me, I don't know why. Life on the trail. Here we go. This is what we're looking at. The wife, the dog, and all of this. And I mean, just take a look at those peaks, man. White quartzite. This is definitely the spot that the lady told us about. And we were on the other side of it. I thought this was it. No, this is the one she told us about for sure. This is it where you can see our lake right there and then i'll figure out what the name of this one is i think she said prue lake right I can't remember. prue lake so but we're supposed to pass by right by this and uh get to our lake fairly quickly from here because it's all downhill tomorrow we climb up that thing there straight up apparently two kilometers across and then left on what's called the crack and then after that, it's all pretty much flat land until we get out. 
So tomorrow's gonna be the technical day for sure. Can't wait to do that. Ready to go? I am. All right, let's put her back on. This thing is so heavy. So day eight, almost there. Almost in the sack. Go, go Cookie. We're almost there. And then back to this. They say a hundred kilometers of this stuff, right? <laughs> not all that bad it's actually very scenic and so rewarding this trail is absolutely beautiful it definitely does not disappoint in a single bit go 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 cookie go come on Oh yeah. Wow. Eva? Are you sure it's down that way? There's a pile of rocks? Yeah. Any easier way around? There sometimes are. Sometimes you need to investigate these things a little. I can see the pile of rocks all the way to the right. There seems to be like, I think there's a set of stairs right here. Maybe even on this side. I don't know which way to take it, but I'm just going to pick one side. I think this is it right here for me. So what we got to do is we got to get down to that pile of rocks right there. You see that big pile of rocks, right? Those are our markers in areas like this. Some of this stuff is tricky and more more than often enough, very slippery or loose. Come on. Yeah, just go the same way I came. This, Eva, where are you going? I'm going this way. Can I? Is there a way path through there? I'm going to make my way. Okay, fine. If you see something better, go for it. This one, I think, is like a free-for-all type of deal. There's no well-defined thing. I mean, I'm definitely in a spot where somebody else has gone. There's a definite footprint right there. So people choose their own paths along this thing. This is where the path gets really, really wide. People just go whichever way they, they, they go. Yeah, Careful on that, honey. Yeah, so it's almost the end of day eight. We've taken our time this morning, so we have a little bit less time at the camp. But at the same time, it was a nice morning. And this is supposed to be a very beautiful lake here, by the way. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Use those poles, honey. Def definitely use those poles. That's what they're there for. Oh, 
wild sorrow again. Wild sorrow. Delicious. Really? No. Not right now. Bring me a few leaves. I'm dealing with something. <laughs> You're going to have to be careful in this section. There's a few wet rocks here. Use your poles on this, okay? It's not that it's steep. It's just wet. It's in the shade here and it's really wet and that's all it takes. So take it easy. And then it looks like it's evening out a little bit. So that's a good thing. Take your time. She just, she just told me she ate all of the sorrow. <laughs> what? I'm seeing, I'm seeing loads of it on the way. Loads? Me, bring me some sorrow. <laughs> now you want it. Now you want it. You said lemon. I didn't know. So she's going to give us something that's called sorrow as soon as she gets here. Just be careful here, okay? This is slippery. and Choose your spots properly. Make sure it's firm. Good job. Watch out, slippery again. Uh, and the next one is uh, much the same. <laughs> this one here, I think I'm gonna do this. There you go. All of it? Sorrow, people. Just try it. What do you think? Uh, it's very lemony. But if you don't know your plants, do not pick anything in the wild. Exactly. Do not. Stop. That actually tasted tasted really good. Stuff? Really? That's what you tasted. Stuff I remember that. I make soup out of it. Wait till you see the color of the lake, lake water here. It's turquoise. The lake water here is turquoise. It looks like the ocean. You see that, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I am recording. This is not the lake we're going to though, honey. We're going to a different one. And it's much the same. Isn't that beautiful? It's the clearest water you're going to find around here, man. It's all down there. I can see right down to the bottom of that lake very easily. And as usual, the views on this trail do not disappoint a single bit. But just look how clear that water is. That's insane. Wow, it looks totally different from the top. Yeah. Huh? It's because of the sun, depending on which way you're looking at it. No, no, no. Okay. It's uh, let's just go. Let's go further up. Go, Cookie, go. Even 
these spots. Camp spots are really hard to get to. You have to take a side trail and often you have to climb over a big hill to get to it. And this one's worth it. That's our own private lake for tonight. Nobody else here. Easy access to water, baby. I don't even bother taking my backpack off anymore. Mountain goat pat. And this is the sunset spot. We're gonna have sun right until the morning, or sorry, right until the sunset. This time. Oh my God, just look at the clarity of that water. So there seems to be a little path going off that way. Uh, investigate that, please. There's obviously a lot of space right back there. Huh? Yeah. Okay. That's our fire pit. Okay. Or it could be over there. There seems to be a couple. There seems to be another one here. People never do this. Never have fire right next to a freaking tree. It can catch on fire and then your whole forest goes up in flames. That's silly. Don't do that. Just simply don't have a fire if it's windy. There's a special place for it and you'd keep it there. <sighs> you I'm uh already leaning towards this area here because it's so nice and flat and it's got spruce right so spruce keeps the needles dry and i think this is our place right here i see a beautiful spot already honey look at that with natural drainage this way beautiful i'm staying right here awesome this is it this lake is awesome. It's so beautiful. It beautiful. Ah, yes. Another 6K. <laughs> so, on day one, we started off at the George Lake campground. We've gone to Acid Lake. We stayed at H4. On day two, We've navigated to Topaz Lake, that little lake there. On day three, we did this until we hit H17 on Three Narrows. That's where I got cold for the first time because the weather patterns changed. From there, we moved on to 20. Spent the night there. That was very nice. Much warmer, actually, but rainy. And then from there, we've gone to... We were supposed to end up at 32, but instead we ended up at 23. This section here, very technical, very hard. Very just muddy, it wet. very muddy, wet. You have to go through rivers and all Six kinds head. of crazy stuff. Um, so from there, we jumped over and we caught up. We went to Boundary Lake, so we caught up and we were right on schedule. This day here, we spent like 12 hours walking, and that was worth it because uh, we made it to where we're supposed to go. Um, no, maybe not 12 hours. It was 12 kilometer walk. That's what I meant to say. So from 35, we went to Silver Lake, which is uh, campsite 38. From there, we went to Bunny Rabbit Lake at campsite 45, which is a very beautiful lake. Um, now, currently at Little Superior, which is uh, H49 and Cookie's walking on my uh, camera here. And then first thing in the morning, we are climbing the Killarney Ridge which is going to be the most challenging part of this entire thing here that we've done so far. That is uh, the most technical section, especially the crack. Uh, for those people that have been here, they know. And then after that, when we're done with it, it's just a shot home. Now, we're supposed to have rain coming in tomorrow uh, in the afternoon. So what we're thinking is do this first section with the crack early in the morning. As soon as we get up, just get up there, get it done. So we get done with all the sketchy stuff. Like you see all the contour lines in this area. That's a big mountain with beautiful views, but it's also very dangerous in this section. So you don't want to be doing that in the rain or preferably not. So what are we thinking? Um, instead of sleeping at Sealy Lake number 50 there, 
little Sealy Lake. Um, it's a wet spot. I remember it from last time. It's not too, not the greatest. We might just bolt it and go home because it's basically flatlands from there. There's no more contour lines. It's just you follow flatlands. Yes, there's a couple of inclines here and there, but they're not anything that we've seen before. So, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. We uh, gone around the map. Nice. Oh, the knees, they are hurting. For you, it's the shoulders. For me, it's the knees. No, kind of channels everything in. Okay. Once again, we are looking for a good spot, right? So, what am I gonna do? Right where my map is, we're gonna set up our tent, most likely, like I said, and then we'll just do a thing with the tarp. Wind's blowing from that the wind is blowing in what direction? It's obviously blowing in from the lake, right from the lake. So it's gonna be from coming from there. So if I set it up on that tree there in the same fashion we did yesterday we should be just fine for the night and that's what we're gonna do i just don't know if i should do the tarp first i'll try the tarp first this time just to see but let's go take a look around first like we just got here Let's look at our water access for water. Look at that. This is a dream, Eva. This is a dream. Like it's all right here. Beautiful spot. Absolutely beautiful. I think this is the nicest spot we've stayed at so far. Just the ease of access and ease of everything, right? It's all here. It's just all here. Somebody left an axe behind. There's a hatchet here somebody left behind. Huh? I think it was on purpose, but you never know. It's a cool hatchet. It's an S-wing, nothing special, but it comes with its own sheath. What do you say? Increase the backpack weight? Comes with a story. I found this in Killarney. She's mine. I'm taking this home with me. Awesome. We're taking the hatchet. We got a new hatchet. Look at that. It's an S wing, I can tell. Oh, wait a minute. S wing. Looks pretty old school. What? What are you going on about now? not the nicest you know and it's pretty freaking heavy you do have a point I'll just leave it here for somebody let's just put it on the, under a beautiful cedar tree so that it doesn't rain on it as much as possible if somebody does not have a hatchet, a hatchet with them, like a there's a hatchet for you Enjoy the beautiful campsite and... There's another C-note? Uh, and I can't make this out. Look out for Barney the beaver at the... Uh, Have a great journey. At beaver at... 
<laughs> Barney the beaver. Well, Barney the beaver is hiding. He's hiding here somewhere. Hiding. He's gonna be flapping his tail later. Oh, I wanna go swimming, Eva. It's just, I wish it wasn't so windy right now. God, can you please provide a windless day for the rest of today? That would be amazing. Please, God, you've been so great this whole time. Just one more. Just one more. Let, let me bathe. Let's check out this water. I bet you it tastes sweet. Eva. It's like Tobermory. Oh, you have been close to it. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta get going with the camp before it gets too late. And hopefully, God will provide a windless day in about less than half an hour when my camp is ready. <laughs> so the two of us can go skinny dipping. Genie. Well, I've done it. I've done it at Topaz. I'll do it here. I'll do it here. You're doing it with me, right? Not genie, it's God, and he's great, and he's going to no, provide. You'll see, you'll see, we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Does it's it going to calm right down. I guess it does, yes. Yes, he does, it. and he's always listening. Yeah. Oh, look, there's another note. One more? Oh, no, it broke off. See, it was from C note again. Great journey, XO. That's where it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It broke off. You fixed it. I did. This is our setup. This is not to protect us from the rain. That's the tent's job. That's to protect us from the frost and the wind which is blowing in from the lake. And you can see the tarp moving. As soon as you move in here, all that just disappears and you can cook here without any issues and it's just uh, a good spot to be now right here it wicks away all the all the wind so right here is where we'll be cooking tonight plastic garbage bag. This is my Canadian Army low blanket. Some poor old bloke. Maybe not old, but some poor bloke. I have to carry this thing around with me. And now it's my turn. I literally don't go camping without this anymore. This is truly great. I'm not even going to end up in the a wool blanket, 100% wool. Their mattress is inflating and I can't wait to go to the sunset spot for a swim once God provides a nice calm evening and I know he will uh, I'm just enjoying another pack of jerky homemade jerky what was the flavor of this jerky honey I just used some, used some Indian spices with some actually barbecue sauce Tiny bit watered down, so it's a tiny bit sweet. Very good jerky. This one wasn't too spicy. One of the ones we had before was really, really spicy. Mm -hmm. That was a different batch. Yeah. We're sitting on these quartzite rocks. I literally have a recliner here. Go. 
go forward. This is pretty good. This is the living. And we're here in the Sunset Haven. Here comes the wind again. The gear bomb. The camp. And there's the sunset. And it's just gone down. We speak. Did I just miss the sun? No, it's still there. Barely, but it's about to get really cold down here. Mm -hmm. I'm just climbing down these rocks where we've been chilling. On our mats, and that's our view. Mm -hmm. Above. I love the sound of crickets. Isn't that the greatest? That's the sound of wind and sound of crickets. I like the loons as well. So this is one of the highest lakes in the park. Loons are awesome as well. Mm -hmm. On top of the mountain here. You can hear the wind beyond the trees further in that way. Yeah, where the mountains are. I can see one of the peaks back there. Such wow. a cool spot. It's windy. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I got you covered tonight though. With tarp. We're covered with tarp. In here it's peaceful, but I can hear it over there. Yeah, well, that's the mountain range over there. Like, sun is technically not setting, but there's a mountain there that's in our way. It's gonna get really dark really quick. It already did. Yeah, let's review the other way. Yeah, the feet and the legs are really taking a beating on this thing. My knees started hurting yesterday and today they're not any better. My blister is getting better. Yeah, I can still feel it, but it's a lot better for sure. Doesn't it feel, I mean, doesn't it seem hazy across the lake right away? Oh, see that haze? It changed color. Yeah, well, the sun is gone. That's so nice though. We're the only people here on this lake. Hey bear! Chico! Chico, you scared it. I do want to scare it. It's across the freaking lake. Come on, let it rip. I'm trying to record it. What? We just like had the first contact with an actual animal. Which it, I don't it, you, want the to first, get in contact with. The first with. thing you would do is scare it? <laughs> yes. My God. Wasn't I taught this? It was, it was going like... It was a bear. It was a bear. 
probably calling for its mother. Yeah, and I don't want to get near the mother. I don't know where the mama is. Near the cubs. And you can walk around this lake very easily, I'm sure. So for the mama cub to get here within half an hour is no problem. Doomsday theorist. There's no such <laughs> thing, okay? They, they live across the lake. That's why we camp on this side. Oh. oh, that's why. How big is the lake? It doesn't look very big. No, it's very little compared to you Superior. You can walk it, therefore. Okay, yes. The, technically speaking, those bears could come, but not here. And if they do, I'll scare them off for you. I just did. Hey, bear! Good. You suck. That was the coolest noise I've heard in a long time. Was, I was hoping it would come back again. I was just sitting there quiet. It was the coolest noise. I, I would like it further away in the valley somewhere. <laughs> Good girl. It's your brother. Come this way. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but this beautiful lake is it all ours for tonight. Just to experience. I do not want to get close to a cub and its mother. Never. Me neither. But that's across the lake. That's okay. <laughs> what the hell? So this is our fire number eight. Nine. Is it nine? Are you sure? Yeah, because tomorrow would have been ten. Okay, so this is our fire number nine. Because tomorrow would have been ten. So it'll be fifteen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We finally got some uh, reception to get the weather forecast. Actually, our friend Dominic has sent it to us, so thank you. Yeah, we got some phone reception, so we received the weather forecast. Thank you for providing it. Yep, thanks Dominic. Dominic's been keeping us safe in this park. He was telling us when the rain is coming. Yeah, actually, <laughs> this was amazing. To, to the T. <laughs> yep. It Sorry. was amazing. It was amazing. So this was supposed to be our second last night here, but we have decided to make it our last. Uh, the reason being is that Saturday evening, tomorrow afternoon actually, our weather system is moving through and it's going to start raining and it's going to start raining into, it's going to keep raining until Sunday evening. And so we're going to, instead of doing the 6 tomorrow, we're going to attempt to do the 12. We'll double up. We'll double up and um, we'll get out of here a day early. It's just the weather. I don't want to get wet. You don't want to get wet. You don't want the dog to get wet. And we've pretty much seen enough. We also <laughs> have enough of uh, Yeah, we've seen some of the most beautiful places on this trail. and all the meals and cooking and... This is definitely by far the way to do it. This like just slow it spot. down, slow it, it down, beautiful. camp all over. This is such a gorgeous place. I do recommend this spot. And this spot here, Little Superior, is amazing. Some good stars today. Mm. Last night in the wilderness. I've learned how to do the dehydrating better. And what meals should be, how meals should be done better. Mm. To speed up the process, which is great. I've learned how to make that tent warmer. Mm -hmm. Bring a tarp. <laughs> I'm so grateful that I did. Wow, that was such a good idea. Because yeah. for the last three, four nights, without that tarp, we would have been freezing even worse. It would have been so much worse. Not to mention the rainstorms and all that at nighttime. It just gives you that much extra room so you don't get wet. Yeah. yeah. You have to stay organized in here. Keep Absolutely. your gear in check. Start losing things and then uh, if 
you can't make a fire because you lost your lighter or something. Which we have like, I don't know, Four. 15. No, that's <laughs> an exaggeration. If I were to count them, there's at least eight. I definitely have two. Yeah, and I definitely have lighters scattered everywhere. So I have lighters all over my gear. Yeah, that's fine. That's probably the most important item, right? Lighter. One Food. Of them, yeah. Water filter. Rope. Warm clothes, sleeping bag. Everything is important. A wool blanket. Wool I'll blanket. I'll say a wool blanket. Wool that was blanket, amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. It just gives you that extra insulation. Radiation from the bottom. Yeah, it stops it. Stops the radiating cold and it radiates the heat back to your body, right? Mm -hmm. And a warm sleeping bag. Light one. Because you're carrying it. Mm hmm. Definitely don't bring the Tetan Deer Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Although that is a great sleeping bag, but it's it's just massive. Not for this trek. <laughs> Not for this trek. It's it's literally as big as my backpack. That's how big that sleeping bag is. You've done really well. Impressed the crap out of me, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I. We're mountain goats now. I think I impressed myself. Mm. Starting off with <laughs> a mule of weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh Horrible. These backpacks were so overweight. We had and stuff so on the improperly packed. <laughs> we had stuff on the Whoa. sides dangling like like donkeys. It's just oh. You learn along the way, okay. You learn to, to repack the proper way. You learn to like let go of some of the air in the dry sags. You pack things a little differently and it all fits in that backpack, but it needs to be done the exact same way every day. Otherwise, you go back to uh, making mistakes. There were a couple of locations where we had to like take our backpacks off just to get through the thing. Yeah, I hope the video turns out. And after that, I actually repacked the pack as well. Yeah, I that was a sketchy, I sketchy walk down the freaking cliff. Wow. I did not want to repeat that again. We had a couple of sketchy walks. One was, uh, what, two days ago? We're going straight down that mountain. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was pretty sketchy. We too. had to throw our backpacks down. Yep, down the ledge and escort, escort the dog. <laughs> escort the dog. That's right. She did so well. I'm so impressed with her. She did the silhouette trail with us. She was amazing. Even the lady we met on the trail today, she couldn't believe that we had a such a small dog with us here. I wish I had the glove or a stick. Do you have, stick? Do you have yeah. a stick? Yeah. Watch your step. Our fire, she's a die, and we need a spoking stick. Spoking? Spoking stick. This was such a cool trip. I, I would do myself. it all over again next year. And I will This year, no, but next year, I definitely would do it. I will definitely differently and time of the year was perfect mm -hmm. we had no bugs we have beautiful weather the nights are getting cold already yeah so we have the only thing i would do different honestly one is the packing sorry it's not the only thing the packing and two i would do definitely different locations just go to all the other locations that we haven't seen yet well yes of course that's on that's a given mm -hmm. Unless you have a favorite and you really want to come back to it. Topaz. That was a beautiful <laughs> time. Yeah. And it's, a beautiful it's a, lake. It's a little bit of a side trail to get this to it. This is beautiful as well. We this had is a beautiful gorgeous. sunset. This is gorgeous here. This is a beautiful sunset location here. Like uh, Little Superior is amazing for that. And you're here. It's a trek getting here. It is a trek getting here. But if you're going uh, from George Lake and you're walking here, it's, you know, it's literally, what? 13 kilometers, 14, 13 kilometers. So somebody could do it in a day and come to see this place. And as we've been getting to this side of the trail, it's been pretty obvious that a lot more people are here. And this is a bit more busy section where people actually camp, mm -hmm. go canoeing and stuff like that. Then we can hear the highway in the distance over here as well. We're getting closer and closer to civilization. Faintly here and there. Not yeah, much. it's not a busy highway. It's just uh, 637, right? So right two-lane highway. There's hardly any cars on there. 
you hear one car truck go by once in a while. But yeah, our fire is dying slowly, so we're gonna fairly soon call it a night. What is it, 9 30 right now? No, it's past 10. It's past 10 already? Mm -hmm. It's Plus time we for get bed. Up early. We're, we're waking we up at long. 7 because we are going right across the crack tomorrow. Crack Should is I do 6 30? About three kilo no, three kilometers away from here. Um, and until there, it is nothing but a climb, constant climb, 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 up and down a couple of times, and more climbing until you get right to the top, and then you go back down. And we want to avoid any rain. Well, and we want to avoid any up. rain, which is apparently coming in the afternoon. You know? Be nice if we could avoid all the rain altogether, but it would be beautiful. we're probably gonna get a little wet walking the second section past our next uh, camping spot mm -hmm. and that one is right beside the uh, the trail you'll notice like it's nothing spectacular it's just a little lake it's okay somebody will use it somebody else who's behind or whatever can use that exactly uh, from the rain. although many people have canceled their reservations so that not many people actually stayed down here right mm, i don't know there are not that many people on the trail. Apparently, it's a lot was more busy normally. Empty, which was beautiful. Thank you for canceling that or keeping that. Oh, open. the one in the in the valley there. Yeah, because we needed that. Yeah, we totally needed that spot. We were worried that somebody's going to show up, but they never did. Three narrow section. It had to be the most challenging by far, I think, mm -hmm. out of everything. Like people say that the section we're currently in is the more challenging and I get it. There's a sure, lot of up and down, yes. a lot of rocks, a lot of up and down again. And you're going across all the mountain tops instead of running around them. But this stuff is beautiful when it comes to the three narrow section. That stuff just gets dangerous. <laughs> that stuff is dangerous. Very you're, muddy. I you're had going, my shoes You're wet. scaling some of the craziest stuff. You're going right up a waterfall. Which we didn't end up doing because of just, you know, common sense, I guess. There's too much water on it. The path you're supposed to take was completely flooded and running with water. I'm like, I'm not even letting my shoes getting wet, let alone going to climb a waterfall just to get over it. So we kind of just bushwhacked around it, found our way to the trail and continued on. That was it. There's ways of doing that, right? That was good, actually. Because yeah. Cookie would not have The made waterfall that. is just, the, the running waterfall was a little bit too adventurous for me. It was a nice waterfall, but, it was raging. but the entrance was mean. It was raging. And I am not I was not gonna go up there with my backpack, which is like seriously overweight. And a dog. <laughs> and a little dog. That needs assistance here and there. Yep. But we did it. She did great too. We did it. Now we the only it. thing left is the ridge, which is the Killarney Ridge. Which is gonna be the probably the most technical section of the entire trip. Including the crack, obviously. But after that, it's just... It's a run home, essentially. You're running through flatlands and there's a heap, few moguls here and there. You gotta go around. Look at some lakes along the way. Freeland and onto George Lake. Sorry, yeah, Freeland and then George Lake. And then we're home. That can be done in two hours, that section. The six kilometers? six or seven that it is it can be done in two hours no problem sure it's an easy 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 walk so we've got about six hours of work and then as it's ending it out it gets into the moguls again and it starts going over and and then there's this like really big climb at the end and then you come out on the other side and there's the sign <laughs> 12 kilometers or 13 kilometers it's 13 kilometers 13. from here so if if we go tomorrow is going to be the longest day by far we've had today oh, the lake really? was so cold i opted not to jump into it it was absolutely freezing lake here this is a spring fed lake and the water is beyond cold so nice and cold but it is too cold for swimming yeah call it a night I think that's it. All right. Thank you for joining us. We will see you back on the trail in the morning. This is night eight. <laughs> is it night eight? Yes, night. You have ten fingers. Count them. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've lost count. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.